Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome to day 40 whew, of the 3 6 5k, 3 and 65 days of 5k challenge. Wow, day 40. And to be fair, it's been a very positive day for me, you know, done a load of work, um, achieved a few things, uh, and um, spoke to a few people. Boys smashed their work this morning. Uh, Mrs. Twiggs woke up with a really, really positive attitude today, and we've gone out. We had a walk. I've done a, done my done my miles, as you'll see in a little bit. Uh, and um, it's, it's been a really, really positive day from all four of us. Yeah, really, really impressed with us. So, on that note, on with the day. Well, hello. Here we are, day forty. Wow, can you believe that? Uh, the 3 6 5k 3 and 6 5 days of 5k challenge just about to pop out um for a run a social distance run with a friend uh, who's just getting back into running and hopefully we can do this sort of thing together it used to be a really really good runner uh, and do lots and lots of miles so i'm probably going to be really really bad for him but it all counts right see you in a bit bye right well that was today it was a really really good run with uh tommy tucker um, and uh, it was just nice to go out with someone and have a chat rather than just plodding along on my own and, and basically just making it up as I go along, <laughs> really, which is what I do. However, um, it was good fun and he was, he was spinning some, some stories about what he's doing and what he's got planned for the rest of the year and uh, gave me some uh, uh, advice about uh, about running and about confidence and about keeping your mind focused and some other advice about um, what the boys can get up to over the next uh, next couple of months and hopefully they can smash in the uh, the half marathon where they, they're supposed to do a mile a week but you know to be honest with you there's at least the big one will smash smash a half marathon in a in a couple of weeks a little one maybe maybe a couple of weeks maybe three weeks so i'm not too worried about that and they they get the medals and the t-shirts and the water bottles is it worth me doing it this year oh if if covid if we're covid free then uh then I'll, I'll put my name in the hat and hopefully Hopefully get a good time, because last time I didn't get a very good time. Well, I was trying to break two minutes and close to guys two minutes one. The last time I just didn't train very well, did too long a run the week before uh, and really just knackered myself out. And I just plodded around last time. I think last time I even got to a point where I had to walk, um, which means that if I do do it, I've got to run the whole 13.2 miles, which I think is quite easily within me. Um, especially if I train properly this year. Probably better do it. Anyway, I hope you've had a really good day. Um, as you might have seen, I'm on Strava now, so have a look for Twigs RN on Strava, see if you can follow me and uh, give me some tips and hints and, and whatever it is um, you're doing. You, then you can show me what you're doing. Hopefully, you have an insight into to my life and what we're doing, then uh, would inspire you to continue to do what you're doing. And remember to keep your headspace these four walls, you know, this your head gets enclosed and you start wondering, your mind wonders, you start thinking, overthinking things and thinking things through the wrong way. If you just get out, have a walk, have a run, just even if you have to drive, which is not very nice, but, you know, dr drive to a local park and just, just get out in the fresh air for half an hour, even if it's only half an hour uh, every couple of days or half an hour every three days, just, just get yourself out and give yourself a different perspective uh, rather than the four walls. Um, talking of perspective, today we've been learning about uh, how to work out the area of a parallelogram. Great. Yesterday it was area triangles, and we were trying to work out how to work it out when it didn't look right, and then we turned the paper and saw that we had a different perspective of it, and it made sense. It was still a right-angle triangle, and if it wasn't a right-angle triangle, they gave us the height of it. So perspective if you're in four walls your mind closed in you don't want to do anything you seem like oh i get anxious and you and um and you really start to overthink things be brave take that step outside and you'll notice that your anxiety will go you'll feel so much better your headspace won't be enclosed it'll be out here and you'll feel 100 percent better with that first step outside the wall the biggest step is putting your kit on Right, and on that note, remember, better never stops. It's my ear for your voice. I'll see you later.
Bye.